Ash, not one chair? I don't do chairs. So what about your guests? We always gonna stand, stare at you? Guests? No. Did you come in here to drag me from my office decor or do you want to prep for Top Takes Daily? Let's prep. Great, all right. Yeah. So obviously what Shep said was beyond the pale, uh, but you've already don't. been memed to death on social media, so it's not like it's going anywhere You know what, Ash, the more and more soon. I think about Shep right now, the angry I'm getting, so I'd rather not talk about this. Okay, be that as it may, you will have to talk about it. And Mila? You can't you spoke about lose Mila on your TV? cool on national television. I don't care about TV. That is not cool. I'm sorry. Do you think that this is a prestige TV show? They're going to ask you about it. You're going to talk about it. And you're going to get your emotions in check. Do you understand? That was not acceptable. Sure. Tell that to him when you see him in person. Oh, I will. But when you talk about it on TV, because believe me, you will have to talk about it on TV... You need to keep an even keel. You can say that the comment was unacceptable. You, you can even call him trash if you want. But isn't I don't that care. basically losing my cool again? Not if it's true. Okay. The main thing is you need to keep your cool so that it doesn't look like you're about to attack Kendrick Perkins for bringing it up on television. That's going to make you look weak. Okay. I can get with that. You could also you could play the disappointed parent card, right? Oh, I I expected more from my fellow man. The NBA is a brotherhood. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. High road or low road, right? No, they're both the high road. Both the high road, just different flavors. But the key is you got to be authentic, all right? You need to be you. You just need to be the calmest, most mature version of yourself possible. Yeah, that's kind of yeah? like when I was in college. It kind of reminds me of that mm -mm. time. When... No, no, I don't have time to go on a trip down memory lane. Do you have anything else to say about Talk Takes Daily? No. I have no more questions. Excellent. I'll see you at the studio. I'm going to meet you there. I need to lay some ground rules with the showrunner. And I also want to be there in case anything crops up last minute. Does that sound good? Sounds like a plan. Again, thank you for your advice. Thank mm -hmm. you. For Get some chairs in here next time. Engage your core. Sit on the yoga ball. Wouldn't hurt. What you got there, Ashley? Huh? Bunch of hopefuls. Okay. Try and ride your coattails. Doing, uh... Ah, and here he is. MP, my name is Jocelyn Davies, executive producer for Top Takes Daily. So nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. As I was telling Jocelyn earlier, uh, we are open to any discussion involving one Chef Owens, but we do expect those questions to be respectful. And if you wish to move on quickly from any given question, we expect that desire to be honored. And as I was just explaining to Miss St. Germain, this is a reputable program on a billion dollar network. We take <laughs> procedures and standards very seriously and will, of course, treat MP No with snacks that. in the dressing room. Oh my gosh. I will take care of Second it. Second day this week. Got it. Yeah. It's done. Chips, billion dollar cookies, network. crackers, popcorn. Got it. Got it. For Thank much. you so much. 60 seconds. Thank you. Very reputable. That's Stan right there. <laughs> we'll, of course, treat MP with the utmost respect and professionalism at all times. Will you guys have snacks? Oh, yeah, we got snacks. Hey, and I'm good. <laughs> Let's do it. Jocelyn, I mean it. Okay? This is not the day for Kendrick to try to go viral over anything. Are we clear? Ash, like... Loosen up a little bit. I can handle Perkins. That's no problem. See? And he's a big boy. He can take care of himself. Oh, of that, I'm sure. <laughs> but I can take care of myself. Okay? Let's not forget that. <laughs> okay. You ready to head a set now? Yeah. Yeah. Let's head over. Everyone, I'd like to introduce MP. Hey, hey, how's it going? Sam Woods, big fan. Nice to meet you. Thanks, man. Of course, you, you know JJ. My guy. Good to see you. And Kendrick. Hey, what's going on, superstar? Oh, awkward. All right, you're going to sit right here adjacent to me. Thanks. All right. Places, everyone. All right, everybody. We're going live. Thanks for coming on the show. Here we yeah, go. Anytime. Uh, Four, three, and welcome back to Top Takes Daily. And for our next segment, we are joined live in studio by the guy everybody is talking about, our very special guest, MP. Welcome to the program. My man, thank you guys for uh, having me. On. Yeah, thank yeah. you for joining us. Now, I know this might be a sensitive subject, but I just want to get right into it. We all saw what happened on draft night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but... We haven't heard your side of the story. So I'm wondering, how does it feel to be on the receiving end of, of a mixed reaction like that on, on what should be the most enjoyable night of your life?
I mean, tell you the truth, I really wouldn't have noticed it if people like you didn't constantly bring it up. I mean, no offense, I'm, I'm really not trying to be combative here, but that's just my reality, man. Like people cheer, people boo. You know, that's all about that's that's all a part of being an athlete. You know, it's really not a big deal as people are making out to be. MP, what's up? With all due respect, I'm not buying that for one second. This wasn't a road game in the playoffs. These were your hometown fans booing you off the stage. Yeah, per, come on, bro. With, with, with all due respect, I mean, all due respect, but I really don't care. I really don't. That's just my truth right there. You know, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and pretend to be something I'm not so you'll buy it. That's what I'm not going to do. But people have been doubting me my whole life, and all I do is prove them wrong over and over and over and over again. You feel me? Yeah. So, like, this right here is no different. You know, they can boo me on draft night if they want to, but, you know, I, I tell you this, I'm making it impossible for them to boo me on the court, you know, because that's where it matters. That's all I care about. MP, let's stay with the draft for a moment. Mm -hmm. A big part of the reaction to your selection was the fact that Shep Owens, your biggest rival, was still on the draft board. That's right. But a a lot of people think he has the higher upside due to his athleticism and the fact that he has loads of untapped potential as a relative newcomer to this game, whereas you've been trying to work on your skill set for the last decade plus. How would you respond to people who think you've got the higher floor but the lower ceiling? Mm. I mean, look, Shep would be a great track and field player. I mean, all you got to do is run fast, jump high, and you get a medal. You feel me what I'm saying? (laughs) I mean, but if you want to be the best hoop in the world, you got to shoot, you got to defend, you got to, you know, you got to think at a high level, and Shep does not do that. Oh, shots fired. (laughs) It's the truth. Perk, you know I've been in MP's corner the whole time. Some would. You don't think, come on Come on, man. You don't think Shep can learn those things? JJ, man, you know... Honestly, I, I really don't. I really don't, man. I, me, I've been working on my craft for years, for decades at that. You know, and my results speak for themselves in both wins and losses. I mean, what has Shep done so far? Other than filming his little reality TV show and going around shopping for chains, he ain't done nothing. It's a good show. <laughs> Sir, <laughs> come on, man. Um, it's more entertaining than his game. Yeah. It, that, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But, you know, me, I'm a student in the game. I've watched plenty of tape on this guy, and he just doesn't think on a high level. And he doesn't make game-winning plays. Simply put. Simply put. Not like I do, at least. You know, you can dunk from the free throw line. You can win the dunk trophy, whatever, whatever. But those guys winning that dunk trophy aren't the same guys winning Larry O'Brien at the end of the season. And that's just facts. Mm. MP, you know we keep it real on here. I got to ask you, man to man, how do you respond to Chef Owens calling you out on his reality show? Oh, wow. This dude took shots at you. He took shots at your family. He even took shots at your girl. What do you say to something like that? Yo, honestly, that's just who he is. He's a trash human being. Who has no class? Wow. Oh, that's, that's, no that's, class. that's all I'm gonna say. We got real beef. Let's make some hamburgers. <laughs> Tell him how you really feel, young blood. Am I wrong? Doing what he did, he should be embarrassed, but he's not because he has no self awareness to know when he's gone too far. Mm. Like that was too far. Yeah. I mean, like, fam, you could win, you could debate who won the world words, but you're not gonna debate this big fat L that I'm about to give him for the whole world to see. And I'm gonna make sure next time I see him, he's gonna know. He gonna know what's up. MP, what? you may not be an explosive leaper, but those are some explosive words. I respect the confidence, if nothing else. Sure, whatever. Well, this has been unforgettable, and I'd love to continue this conversation, but unfortunately, we are out of time. MP, thank you for joining Wait, us. Wait, so that's it's it? It's been a real pleasure. Yeah, yeah, and then we got to wrap things up, but you have been a tremendous sport, and we really appreciate you answering the tough questions we wish you all the best you and your family and your girl uh coming up next we talk early season contenders and pretenders but first this commercial break 
<laughs> Josh, what's going on, man? MP, how you doing? Bro, I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling. Yo, again, man, thank you for taking the time to see me, bro. That's love. Man, no problem. You know, I was in a similar situation last year, so I think I can help. Hold, hold on. Didn't you go top five last year? And the people loved you too, bro. Man, I went six, and yeah, a lot of people liked me, but there was also a lot of people who were shocked that I went that high, so especially on social media. Bro, man, tell me about it. Social media could be so brutal, man. Man, that's what happens when it's all anonymous, I guess. Still, you see it all, and it affects you. All right, so, so, that's a good point you said. So, like, how do you deal with that doubt there? Well, I've always been someone who likes setting up teammates, helping them succeed, so as long as my guys around me were thriving, I didn't really care what anybody said about me. Wait, but hold on. Like, you, you got to play well, too, bro. It's not all about the team. Yeah, know? well, me playing well, my you know, means my guys are playing well around me, so that's just my game, and I can't really separate the two. Bro, you got the vision, man. You, you got the vision out there. You dropping them down. I see you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Look, I got to bounce, but it was nice talking to you, man. Hit me up if you ever want to hoop or you need any advice or whatever. All right, let's get it. Come on, let's see that ATL pride, fellas. Get pumped! It's still early in the season, and teams are still trying to figure out rotations. Greg, what's it like to play in a game like that tonight? Well, for a lot of these guys, Kevin, it's all about jockeying for a position, making an argument for minutes. That you want to earn the trust of your coaches. Ball. Checked in for Plumley. Charlotte calls timeout. You think you're better than I? You ain't nothing, Steve. Give it up. Make some noise. His touches left him in this quarter. Nowhere close to the kind of output they need from him. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. The Hawks trail by five. In this offensive system, Brent, that the Hawks run, it allows for a lot of creativity. Yeah, lots of dribble handoffs at the top of the key. You obviously have the case of emergency break glass player in Trey Young. But uh, they're not afraid to attack mismatches, and this is the type of offenses that I think a lot of players would enjoy playing. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Here's MP. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. Ball's got three assists tonight. On draft night, many people wondered where MP might land. But Greg, do you think he was worthy of that 18th pick? Well, I was a little surprised to see him go in the first round. But clearly, his team believed in him. And the leadership and intangibles he brings are really hard to ignore. Kicks it out to MP. And a miss there on the triple. And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up for the Atlanta Hawks. It's a five-point game. Young dishes to Murray. To the middle. Here's Capella. And the dunk by Capella. Well, take your choice. You can either foul him or watch him dunk. Well, actually, in this case, you could get both. Oubre outside. Down low, here's MP. Yeah, easy call. Shooting two. tonight free throw good MP with how well MP has been playing lately it's a little surprising Greg that more fans haven't gotten behind him yeah I mean he's given them what they want unless what they wanted was Chef on then it'll take a lot of great nights for MP to satisfy those fans and the Hawks with a completely new group on the floor
second free throw, no good. And what you appreciate about MB is how even keeled he is. He's someone his guys love playing with. Hornets leading by four. From deep. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. The visiting team. 29. Pass to Young. There's the three. And it's MV with the rebound. MP's got four rebounds now tonight. Smith the pass to MP. And the dunk by MP. Well, Smith looking now to dish to the guys who are wide open. And so it's Holiday with it. He'll bring it up for the Atlanta Hawks. Trailing by five. Dishes it to Kaminsky. Young outside. Back to Kaminsky. Holiday with the three. It's hauled in by MP. MP's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Pass to Hayward. It's up a three. Atlanta again missing. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound and advantage is starting to add up. Good. Now it's a seven-point Hornets lead. And right now they're just focused on putting together good possessions. That's exactly how they got the lead. They ended up having multiple possessions in a row with good quality shots, knocked them down, and the game is fully in their control. Holiday finds Kaminsky. And here's Young on the arc. That block reset for the Hawks. Hawks passing it around. Pass to Holiday. Can they get it? Goes back up. And Jones sends it back. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And the Hawks with the two and here's Collins. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Inside. And MP throws it down. Yes, sir. MP flushing that one down. Here's Bogdanovich. 20 points for him last game against Orlando. Thanks very much. Now, some people call John Collins John the Baptist for how he dunks over defenders. He says, the game is slowing down for me. I'm able to see my spots. I want to continue to build on that and be looked at as a pillar, a guy that can be counted upon. Kevin, it seems he's hungry for more. Back to you. He's a big-time dunker, that's for sure, looking to reach his full potential. David, thanks. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. To the paint. And he uses the glass on the lane. MP's got four points now in the quarter. Let's just say by chance I'd be coaching this team right now. I'd look to get MP the ball on every trip. Is that a good strategy? Collins, a screen on ball. Young's shot is off. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. MP's shot is good. Dennis Smith Jr. possession and on the court for Charlotte as we start the fourth the guard pair ball and Rogier the forwards are Hayward and Washington and it's MP in at the center filling out the middle and they've won the rebound battle so far and it's translated to the scoreboard yeah it's not just about stopping the offense in the scouting report it's about knowing where to be when those shots are going to be missed and they're doing a nice job on the rebounding Let's it go with a three. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Here's Young. Off the left rim and out. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. And he's a really smart player in transition. If he gets to the right spots and always seems to make the right play.
a very convincing win for you guys tonight. Does it feel like you're starting to answer some of the questions that have followed you since the draft? You know, I hope so, John. You know, so many people you know, worry about what could have been. You know, I try to live my life in the now. You know, whether or not folks want to pick me, I hope they at least give me a chance. Well, you seem to be thriving, judging by tonight. Yeah, tonight was a lot of fun, man. I really enjoyed it out there. But, uh, you know, it would be awesome to be, you know, we keep winning games like this. That will make things a lot easier. Yes, it certainly would. Hey, thanks and congrats. Anytime, brother. Terrific effort on both ends of the court tonight. You guys really dominated the glass. So why were you so physical tonight? Was you mad? Nate, come on, man. You know I bring that physical attitude every night. Mm -hmm. You know, just more mid shots to grab tonight, I guess. You know, all I know is when I look at the box score, <laughs> I know I did work tonight. That's it. You know, and hopefully my teammates see that and take heed. Did you feel like the onus was on you to grab boards for this team? Well, yeah. You know, at some point, you can't keep telling folks what to do. You got to show them. That's it. You know, if we want to be a good defensive team like I know that we want to be, we got to get them rebounds. Possession doesn't end until you get the ball back. Well, you got plenty of them tonight. Congrats. Appreciate it.